Amen. Schneider Squad, what is going on? Back again, it's your boy Sniper Joan Jones. We are back with another special edition video today, man. Happy Halloween to everybody out there. As y'all can see, I got one of my favorite TV shows of all time. If y'all watch the Netflix series, if y'all watch Money Heist, I absolutely love Money Heist. Gotta be one of the best shows out there, especially one of the best shows on Netflix. So as y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? Your boy Snipe on the set it off mode. I got my bank robber costume on, you feel me? I got the dog mask. I throw the hoodie on, and bam, you feel me? We in the building. Let, let me know if you watch Money Heist down below, and also let me know if y'all doing anything for Halloween. Now, it was like a little Halloween party like tonight over at my friend's crib. Nothing too big because there's still social distancing going on, but uh, to be in the holiday spirit, I decided to grab a costume and just do a little something. Now, like I said, let me know down below in the comment section if you guys rocking with the costume or if you were doing something special on your Halloween. Y'all going trick or treating or uh, with the with the kids or are y'all just you know chilling, social distancing, not really doing too much, but just you know might be kicking back at the crib watching some old Halloween shows. Regardless, man, uh, that's pretty much it for this. Now let's get to this unboxing because just like the actual costume in the beginning of this video, the sneaker that I'm unboxing today also has a very very Halloween uh, type vibe okay this sneaker is 100% Halloween 100% fall definitely happy I hit on these on sneakers I don't know what's been going on on sneakers but I've been getting super lucky to the point where I can't complain if I don't hit nothing else for the rest of the year off-white fives then the very next day I hit for these joints which is the orange skeleton Air Force ones I did not hit on the mocha ones that dropped today but shout out to everybody who did hit it did send me a pair I do have the review on foot up if you guys want to watch that video but I'm excited to give you guys this unboxing of a great sneaker one of my favorite sneakers that I've copped on sneakers and uh Hype aside, I mean, these are just fire. So without further ado, let's get into it. The Air Force One on Skeleton Halloween Edition, man. Let's do it. Perfect. As I would like to continue the video in that costume, number one, it's very uncomfortable. Number two, I don't want to, okay? It's very hot, very uncomfortable, and I don't want to wear it, okay? So let's get into the unboxing. Like I said, sneakers. Shout out to sneakers because they've been looking out for your boy way more than ever. Now more than ever, man. I don't know if it's just because of the positive energy I'm putting out there, the positive vibes. But every time I usually go on sneakers, I don't get a W. And now I'm finally getting Ws. And to be honest, y'all, it feels good. And this is not like one to gloat or nothing like that. Because I've been taking more L's than just about anybody. Y'all gotta understand, anything that go on sneakers, I usually go after. And my success isn't always high as I want it to be. But it is what it is. Anyway, Nike, Air Force One, okay? Definitely one of the most iconic things that ever happened to sneakers. The Air Force One is still, in my opinion, probably one of the best things that ever happened to our culture, man. Any of us can go back to a time in our life where we was either wearing a pair of Air Force Ones or saw a pair of Air Force Ones that was just dope, that inspired us. I mean, I would say 90% of the culture owned a pair of Air Force Ones in their life. And this particular one, Airport Air Force One 07 Skeleton Quick Strike. So it was very limited and it retailed for the price point of $130. So without further ado, let's flip this back and see what we got. Aya, here it is, man. Woo! These things are absolutely crazy. You see the orange on the entire upper. You see like the skeleton foot bone going through the shoe all the way up to the toe box. And this outer sole. This outer sole is completely glow in the dark. I can see it charging up glowing right now just from the studio lights that's hitting it. But I mean, come on, bro. Sheesh. It's not a surprise to a lot of y'all. Y'all know that orange is my favorite color. So immediately when I seen these on sneakers, I knew I had to go for them. Honestly, I don't really want everything I go for on sneakers. It's just like, if it's there, why not try? But these I wanted, and I'm happy I got them because I really wanted them. You know, this wasn't something I really wanted to pass up on. The good news is, they don't resell for much. So say if you watch this video 
and you liking how these look, and they look all crispy and pristine, and you like, yo, Snipe, bro, I ain't gonna cap. I really want a pair. I think right now, sneakers, they're only going for like 170 bucks, maybe 180 at the most. And uh, I mean, that's pretty good. Actually, let me check real quick right now for the stock X price. Yeah, like I said, uh, 170, 180, depending on what your size is. Actually, in the size 12, they're 200 bucks, 199 to be exact. But like I said, it's still not bad. We know what we pay for shoes, trust me. Jordan's retail for like 200 bucks. So you're basically paying retail for Air Jordan for you know a nice pair of uh, glowing and dark Air Force Ones. Now something I wanted to kind of talk about, I wanted to touch on before we finished and talking about the sneaker. Nike, or not even just Nike, a lot of these companies have to do a better job with selling and coming out with sneakers that's Halloween thing. I'm gonna tell you why. Reason being is because Halloween thing sneakers are only really good for Halloween. Now, I wouldn't call this a Halloween thing sneaker. They have released like the black pair that came out. That one did pretty well. Um, it's kind of got a Halloween aesthetic to it because of the orange, of course, is a Halloween color and the skeleton bone. I mean, a skeleton is like almost a, a, a freaking emoji for Halloween. If, if it's not a ghost or a pumpkin, it's a skeleton. So it all goes together. So it's a smart thing that they dropped it around this time the bad thing about dropping halloween sneakers especially when you have to ship is if you release the shoes the day of halloween they're not getting to us until a week after halloween so there's no point of having a shoe right luckily i next day shipped these joints when i got them so they came on time but imagine if i did not next day ship these and i got them in a little bit later like next week won't really be a good time to pull these out i'm gonna pull these out today halloween i'm, I'm gonna throw them straight on man and i really do rock with these now um that's the only thing i really gotta say bad about the people who drop halloween themed sneakers i remember growing up in cleveland man and we used to wear air force ones all the time and the biggest problem where i'm from is it snows so much it's always snowing and the problem with snow and air force ones is they don't mix anybody from up top can tell you this man walking to school with a pair of fresh air force ones on in the snow by the time you walk through the front doors of the school your entire upper of your air force one is covered in what the dye from your jeans, bro, to the point where we had to throw trash bags on these joints, wear like another pair of shoes and keep the Air Force Ones in a backpack. I've pretty much seen it all, especially when you're living up top with a lot of snow. It's so easy for your jeans to bleed on your sneakers and it's ruined. This is back when like Air Force Ones only cost like, man, like 80 bucks. Check out the uppers. As I told you guys, we have a all orange upper, my favorite color. I love orange, just the brightness of it. Um, it always brings attention and it's very smooth at the same time. We get the skeleton foot that's actually going through entire sneaker on both sides. So it's like a graphic print or like a, exactly look like a scan. Like if you go to the doctor's office and you get a scan of your foot, bang. Here it is right here. Orange laces as well with the black tips on the orange laces. Not really a bad touch for the orange laces and the uh, black tips. Of course, on the back, we get our Nike Air, man. Just like all them Air Jordans that we love with the Nike Air on the back. Now the last lace got the black Air Force One right there, locked and loaded, ready to go. Perforated toe box as we all know and love Air Force Ones have. The tongue as well has the Nike Air Force One logo on it too. And I don't believe that this came with any spare laces, so how you see it is pretty much how you get it. Now what I'm about to do right now is throw these on foot because I'm super excited to have these and I cannot wait to throw them on and show y'all how we rock. Can comment down below let me know how y'all think they look on foot and are you guys fans of this or did you give it a hard pass either or i'm still commenting to all the comments down below and i'm super excited to hear y'all thoughts and opinions let's get into this halloween on foot let's do it Alright guys, there we have it man, the Air Force One Nike 
skeleton in the orange colorway, man. Definitely one of the better colorways that came out this year. And like I said, the entire outer sole just looks great when it's glowing in the dark. I mean, it really is a nice overall shoe. Very fire in my humble opinion. Make sure that y'all are tuned in to more videos. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. 70K, we dropping new merch. I can't wait for that. New hoodies, hoodie season. You already know the vibes. Hoodie snipers in the building. Also hit the notification bell so you know what's dropping. My Instagram and Twitter is linked down below. So head over there and give me a follow if you already don't. Till next time, man. It is your boy, Sniper Jones. And you know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous, but who be putting in that work though? Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.